I welcome everyone to our YouTube channel AEO Grey Organics. In this video, we will see what is the difference between UGC net and ICR net. This is an important information for all the agricultural graduates, those who are especially doing their MSc, PG or PhD. So this is very important video. So you can watch this video to get more information about this ICR and UGC net. If you are new to our channel or you are watching the, our channel videos for first time, then you can subscribe our channel. Our channel will be very useful to you for your future. This UGC net is conducted by University Grants Commission. ICR net is conducted by AISRB that is Agricultural Scientist Recruitment Board. So with regard to this UGC net and ICR net, both are eligibility for assistant professor that is this is an eligibility test if you pass this test you are eligible or you are qualified just you have did your msc or pg in your respective subjects so this is an just an eligibility test or your qualification test for example he or she has studied this degree so they have completed their degree they have got their certificate it is a just a test to check the ability to test the knowledge in your specific subject so these both are the same this is just a test just for the eligibility test if you clear this eligibility test only any private colleges or any other teaching institute will take you for assistant professor or the lectureship so this is an important so then when we compare to UGC net and ICR net who can attend this UGC net who can attend this ICR net when we conduct when we consider this UGC net all the subjects that are given by UGC they can attend this test for example with respect to UGC net there are different streams such as environmental science or electrical science like that many subjects are there but with regard to ICR net the agricultural subjects that are conducted by ICR so these subjects are there we can write test for this okay now all will ask the question whether agriculture students can write UGC net yes agriculture can, students can write UGC net if you belong to any of the science streams such as agronomy or soil science or plant pathology or entomology environmental science or nematology like these courses you can write your ugc net only in environmental science and especially when you consider common degree that is a science courses if you have completed your msc or phd in subjects such as botany or geology then also you need to attend only in this environmental science for example most of the life science courses will come under this environmental science only in ugc net there is no separate uh, UGC net paper for either agriculture or horticulture or botany or geology like that. So there will be a common subject that is environmental science. When we consider the ICR net, we are having different different subjects. For example, even if you have studied physical science or if you have studied some other subjects such as spices and condiments or spices and plantation crops or agronomy or plant pathology like that, you are having individual subjects that is individual your courses, your individual degree programs in this ICR net. Okay. Now the question is when an agriculture candidate clears UGC net then whether he is eligible for any lectureship post like that. So many will have the doubt regarding to this. For us one important information for agricultural graduates or agricultural students important is ICR net only. It will be conducted by ASRB not this UGC net. This is for the arts and science courses. Though you belong to agriculture stream if you clear this uh, UGC net this is an extra. This is a supportive. This is a um, just this is a supplementary this is not a complementary just you can tell i have cleared ugc net also so they may give preference in job we cannot tell surely they will give preference and icr post will not have ugc net clearance requirement but surely it will have icr net clearance so you should focus most on icr net only not on ugc net just if you are doing now your msc course or phd course Till now you have not cleared this ICR net means please prepare for ICR net because this ICR net notification will come on February 1st week. So you start preparing for this. You don't waste your time on UGC net that too for environmental science. Next another one important question is do I belong to agriculture stream but I have cleared environmental science net in UGC then whether I am eligible for this environmental science lectureship post like that someone will ask question someone have asked so you cannot become 
assistant professor in environmental science they will consider you in your specific subject only so this is just an eligibility test then all will have the doubt why many students are focusing on ugc net like that they are not focusing on ugc net it they are focusing only on ugc jrf if you belong to any stream if you clear ugc jrf then monthly you will get 31000 rupee then plus hra 5000 rupee De- it depends on your uh, locality or it depends on your staying area residential area so it depends on that particular places so monthly you may get 35000 if you do phd so this is for 5 years so when we consider this icr srf or jrf it is only for 3 years and will not have this hra so when you clear this ugc jrf in environmental science stream then you can join your phd in your uh, specific subject only for example if you belong to agronomy then you can join your agronomy for this you have to they will give the award letter in that award letter you have to mention that you have cleared environmental science but i am working under this agronomy like that so you no need to change the stream at the time of um, your phd just you you are clearing for environmental science but you are working for agronomy or your current subject so this is an important information so these are the important information that are related to ugc net and icr net so when you ask me which one you will suggest i will suggest only icr net to clear first because this ugc net is just a supplementary if you have already cleared this icr net then you can concentrate on ugc net this is just a supplementary but for us icr net is very very important so you focus on icr net first then you clear this icr net then you focus on this ugc net thank you